The following program may contain violent sexual content, coarse language, and mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. All right, I'm just walking down Queen Street now, the fake Queen Street, on set of Degrassi. Lock, turn over. Back up. And action. Exclusive backstage interviews. All right, new girl on set. I mean, she's a bit of a badass. But he's, he's definitely someone you gotta look out for. Exclusive backstage tours. Behind this door, you're gonna get a super exclusive first look at a brand new set. And I've got a bit of a hidden agenda. What's well, really not so hidden is basically my main agenda is I'm trying to get a walk on on Degrassi. Let's see how it goes. So Landon and I are going to take control of the tour. Tim thinks he's getting a, a walk-on role. Yeah, what's up? I'm not really sure how you want me to... Uh... Oh, listen, I really don't have time for this. Though. In the meantime, Landon and I will show you around. This is my bedroom. I've had like four on the show. They keep changing it up on me. You have the girliest room I've ever seen. Look at the little pink chandelier, all the shoes. It's, it's pretty close to what my bedroom looked like when I was growing <laughs> up, actually. Because Holly J's in the middle of a big move, so there's lots of moving boxes. Hopefully I'll walk away with some of this furniture at the, the set sale after, because I like some of it. Oh, thanks. <laughs> what are you doing here? Okay, what we're about to do is break into the Edwards house. I look at all their stuff. So let's go. What's fun is the stairs don't go to anywhere, uh, as is the case with most sets. This is where the Edwards family lives, so Claire... Oh, and look how cute Aislinn is. Aww. That actually looks oddly like my um, my uniform coming up in Little Miss Steakhouse, which is where Holly J is getting a job, and that's, that's pretty much my uniform. We've already had a special request for our new waitress. So we're not really supposed to be here. And as you can maybe hear, there's lots of construction happening around. So we're going to take you to a super exclusive new set. Cool. All right, so I think these are the dressing rooms. They all got names on them. Pretty cool, though. Yeah, right. I got my own dressing room? Yeah, right. This is awesome. This is so freaking cool. My own dressing room. CD player and everything. This is cool. I can get used to this. Lines? I You're a winner, Dave. A winner. Behind this door, you're going to get a super exclusive first look at a brand new set. So now, if you look this away, you can see uh, some of the hallways for the school. But on the left here, we have this brand new set that used to be Spinner's Loft, but now it's going to be Fiona's new loft. It's pretty fancy. For a 15-year-old, she's doing pretty good. She actually has a, a pig living with her. Just her and the pig. Here, piggy. Come here. Porcelina. Oh, crap. All right, new girl on set. Are you excited to be a part of the cast? I'm so excited. Yeah? When I found out, I was just absolutely thrilled. I couldn't believe it. This is the role I really wanted. So. Okay. Can you tell us about your character and what she's like? Her name's Bianca. She's a bit of a badass. 5-0. Hey. Um, hi, officer. Yeah, she's also a dancer. She's like the cool girl in the school. She doesn't really give a shit about what anybody thinks. Mm -hmm. If he figures out I'm drunk, I'm gonna get a record. Okay. Number three. Um, can you... Shut your drunk ass up for one second! She doesn't have really friends, like a set group of friends. She kind of just goes around and mm -hmm. does whatever she wants. It's such a cool character to play. Okay. <laughs> I'm here with Melinda and Lou from Degrassi, and uh, we're on set right now. You guys are just filming season 10. Is there any juicy gossip that's going to be happening this season that you can tell us? There's a little bit of a thing going on. So. I spent all afternoon thinking about you. Oh, really? Some some romance over here from Toronto's very own Taylor Lautner. <laughs> <laughs> My parents won't be home for another hour. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, provocative scenes. Yeah? In, in really? the upcoming Degrassi. Getting racy. What are you doing? I'm sorry, the tender? So it's going to be pretty crazy. You're right. What's going on here? Now, I'm actually going to be on set today, like, actually doing some work. Like, I'm going to be in the episode. Sweet deal. So I was wondering, yeah, I know, I just found out a little while ago, but I was wondering, do you have any tips or advice? Like, yeah, don't mess up. Since you're new on set, maybe yeah. you can, like, relate a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, is it, like, you know, is, is everyone here, like, cool with new people? Yeah. Everybody's so nice. All the, all the cast members were really, really nice to me. Like, even, even Ray? 
Ray. Oh yeah, he's my homeboy. You're here rocking out. Yeah, and it feels awesome. <laughs> so, cause you kind of like give me a full shoulder. Over here. But I'm actually gonna get a part in in the show now. Oh, you're getting a part. Maybe it's just you. He might Ray. have a problem with you. I'm not sure. I think my scene might even be with Ray. <laughs> oh. Why do you make that face? Is that not good? <laughs> well, I don't know. He doesn't like you, right? Hey, Sav. You're a uh, kind of our hero. I'm gonna go and I guess run lines. Okay, so I was upstairs earlier and um, well, I was basically walking around the halls and I found that I have my own dressing room. Yeah, right! This is awesome! And I was in there for about 30 seconds before somebody comes up, knocks on my door, and hands me lines. Lines? I thought I was just gonna be doing a walk on, but it's only like one or two lines, so it's not gonna be hard. I'm actually really excited about it because I actually have a speaking role now on Degrassi season 10. Tim, I was looking for you. Oh, we have some more pages of lines for your part. Well, oh, pages? Dude, you sure? How'd you get on this? We know that a much music you film on the real, legitimate Queen Street, but here's our version of Queen Street. Our Queen Street's way better. Tim, you got nothing. See, it doesn't even go, like, it's like maybe a block of just uh, fake buildings that they interchange with signs and stuff. And they're just about to roll, so maybe we can see a little action happening. Ooh, looks like we're gonna see something. Just have to tune in. Yeah, what's up? I, I was just going over some of my lines here, and, and I'm not really sure how you want me to. Uh... Oh, listen, I really don't have time for this now. I gotta get this uh, rehearsal happening. That line's been cut. Go relax. Okay. It's been cut. But this is bullshit. Alright, All right, so my role on Degrassi was, was just cut. The whole thing was axed, and. Um, to tell you the truth, I'm actually kind of relieved because I was, uh, there's so many lines in here and there was just not enough time. I was getting so stressed out about memorizing Sorry, all this Tim, stuff. Just to let you know, uh, it's all, it's all fake. What do you mean? We set you up, there's never a role. The whole, this whole thing? The whole me auditioning thing? Yeah. Like, all the actors, all the makeup not. artists? They're not. Like, I pulled a page to run lines with me. Yeah, he wasn't a page. Well, who was he? Intern. Oh, what about Ray? Uh, no, he just didn't like you. You guys are f seriously. 